So today we're presenting a technique in which a quadruple hamstring autograft harvest is obtained with the goal of performing an ACL reconstruction with hamstring autograft. Not infrequently, intraoperatively, it is encountered where the hamstring quadruple autograft is not as thick as is necessary. We know that an eight millimeter diameter is necessary for an individual to have a low re-rupture rate. However, at times, the quadruple autograft is not as thick as you would want in diameter. An easy pass through eight, easy pass through seven and a half, and starting to get tight at seven. So the re-rupture rates at that time, based on multiple prior studies, demonstrate high re-rupture rates. So the options at this point are twofold. Either a hybrid technique can be utilized with hamstring allograft, or alternatively, one of the two grafts can be tripled in nature. That has two benefits. The first is that it's number one cost effective. You need to use allograft tissue and therefore the cost savings to the patient and potential hospital system go down. The second and more important is the fact that re-rupture rates go down. Multiple studies specifically out of the Moon Group demonstrate higher re-rupture rates with a hybrid technique. Therefore, what we will demonstrate today is a very simple, secure way of producing a five-string graft using a simple hamstring autograft harvest and the fiber tag technique with the type rope button. So in this case, the gracilis is maintained at its length. The typically longer semitendinosus is extended through the graft loop. This can be done to maintain length of graft in this point. We will then size our graft in terms of length and size after the semitendinosus is tripled in length. This can be folded over such that a five string technique at this point is created. This can then be sized after the fiber tag is created with the final graft being approximately this length, again with the length of the graft as a five string. So we will now demonstrate the fiber tag technique. At this point, we will demonstrate loading the fiber tag on the end of the semitendinosus autograft to allow a tripling of the graft. Once the fiber tag is removed from its specific implantation card, the suture clamp can then be loaded onto the fiber tag to allow ease of preparation. The clamp has a special slot that is loaded underneath the tightrope and allows an easy puncturing of the fiber tag, which then sits into a specific groove in the tag. The graft clamp is punctured through the fiber tag, and then the graft at the end is similarly grabbed with the specific clamp. The fiber tag is then laid down onto the graft and stitched into place. The fiber tag is initially stitched at the end to allow it to lay flush with the graft, and then a simple loop suture technique is then utilized. The fiber tag is punctured approximately midway in the initial stitch. The loop is then sitting flush with the graft, allowing tubularization and security. Simple passage of the loop suture is then advanced to the level of the tightrope and fiber tag interface. Again, the loop is secured, and the stitch is then passed through this hole in the actual tag, allowing suture to be placed through the tightrope, allowing additional security. The suture is then passed again through the fiber tag and the graft, approaching distally. This spot allows security of the graft as well as security of the graft to the tightrope. A final stitch is then placed at the end of the fiber tag and graft, completing the loop suture technique. Once this is done, a single limb of the suture is cut, leaving the needle attached to one end. This allows dunking of the previous knot. Once the suture is tied securely in standard knotting technique, the single limb of the suture is cut, keeping the needle attached to the other end. This is then passed through the graft, allowing the knot to be appropriately dunked within the graft so as to not provide any potential interference in the tunnel. This completes the fiber tag security to the triple limb of the semitendinosus autograft. The remainder of the tightrope sutures are then removed, allowing exposure to the standard tightrope. At this point, the other limb can be prepared in a standard fashion with a suture loop technique. At this point, the interface of the fiber tag is identified, including the strong, secure suture construction, where the sutures of the fiber tag go through the tightrope and also provide additional security to the end of the semitendinosus autograft. Once this is done, the gracilis sutures, which were previously placed, can be placed through the tightrope button just like in a standard 
hamstring construct. This is then looped over, providing your initial three tendon reconstruction. The semitendinosus can then be tripled in standard fashion. The sutures are brought over again. The graft is then looped and brought down in a five string construct as identified here. A final suture can then be placed through the loop to provide the ability to tension the fifth limb at the knuckle of the construct. In this fashion, a five string autograft is created using the fiber tag at the interface, securing both the tendon to the tightrope and all loops through the tightrope with a final appropriate construct strength. This can then be sized. Again, our initial size was a seven. We have expanded from that. This is an eight and a half with good interference fit. And that is exactly what one would want with a hamstring autograph, eight and a half millimeters in diameter without any hybrid fixation. Once this is done, final fixation can be interfaced with a screw. In this case, absorbable biocomposite screw can be placed in a standard fashion because the length with this construct is approximately 90 millimeters with adequate length in the tibial tunnel to provide direct interference fixation, just like a standard quadruple hamstring. This completes your appropriate re reconstruction, again, in all autograph technique with low re-rupture rates and in a cost-effective fashion.